this particular morning meditation, uh, I'd like to um, talk to on being blessed without permission. Blessed without permission. I want to focus on a passage of scripture from Psalm 75 verses uh, 5 through 8. Uh, it reads as follows, Lift not up your horn on high, speak not with a stiff neck. For promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. But God is the judge. He putteth down one and setteth up another. This is, it, it, my word is to those of you who, who we're in this world. We're called not to be of it, but we're living in a world with other people. And, and there is this... Uh, you know, belief among some that for you to be elevated, that it depends on your favor with this person or that person. While it is good to have favor with people, uh, you know, but there are just some times that being favored by God is all you need to be promoted. Uh, there are people that even feel that you need their permission for God to bless you. And I'm submitting to you that you can be blessed without permission. Scripture reads, lift not up your horn on high, speak not with a stiff neck. Uh, don't be arrogant when, when you're up. Don't be arrogant like you did it all by yourself. It was God that put you where you are. It is God that ultimately is the major opener of a door. Uh, while you may have put efforts to get your breakthrough, the breakthrough never would have came if it wasn't for the grace and favor of God. God can bless you without permission. God doesn't have to ask anyone for a permission slip to bless you. Although your boss may not like you, God can elevate you above your boss. Uh, although uh, this person may not like you or that person may not like you, the bishop may not like you, God doesn't need anyone's permission to elevate you. Verse 6, for promotion cometh neither from the east nor from the west nor from the south. Ultimately, your promotion comes from God. Work as if your work is unto the Lord. Do it, uh, get favor in God's court. The supreme, the real supreme court is all you need for your elevation. God can bless you without their permission. God can elevate you above every small, smart aleck that's laughing at your, uh, your current fate. God can uh, uh, elevate you above every baller that's out there. God can bless you without permission. And then he goes on, but God is the judge. He setteth, putteth down one and setteth up another. Here comes the judge. The judge, God can put down one. There are people that are, there's some prophets out there that, that have been appointed that are getting ready to be disappointed. God is the ultimate judge. He setteth down one. Every born will have their season. If we have to go to the street, every dog will have his day. But God is ready to elevate you. God's going to elevate you, and he's not going to have to ask this person or that one. It doesn't matter that you're not a member of the clique. Uh, you're not a member of the club. You're not a member of the set. God can elevate you without anyone else's permission. God is getting ready to bless you without permission. He doesn't have to ask for a permission slip from this one or that one. He doesn't have to uh, uh, get someone with, with 150,000 Facebook and Instagram likes to, appoint, to, to elevate you. God is setting down one. They may be enjoying their season. The scripture says, fret not thyself because of evil doers, for they shall soon be cut down. Although you may be languishing uh, at a point where you feel like no one in the world notices you and, and when asking God, when will my time come? Galatians 6 and 9, let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Don't faint, my brother. Don't faint, my sister. God can bless you without permission. Your breakthrough is on its way. Your come up is, is, is starting to surface. Uh, God's going to move plenty of people out of your way. And, if, and even if the folks block your doors, if God would open up the door, remember we serve a God that can open up a window. I'm submitting to you, my brother and sister, right in that place where you are with what you're fighting with, that God's getting ready to bless you without permission. He doesn't have to get anybody's approval 
you're on your way up. God bless you.